stop messing with me, man. Like, I know it's not your factory. I, mean, I think this is something that you do really well. So maybe we start with just kind of like a high level overview of how you think about finding the right factory. Yeah, I think that the tool that you've built is by far the best starting point. <laughs> so like being able to reverse engineer the best sellers, factories, and then just going direct, right? If they allow it, if you're going to, you know, sometimes the fact like the sellers might have an exclusivity, maybe it's the factory selling and they don't want competition, but at least as a starting point. And then, and then from there, at least, you know, you're dealing with a real factory most of the time. The second part is going to be working with a, a rep at Alibaba. So Alibaba.com has like, um, if you're doing any type of sales already, newer sellers might struggle to get into a program. You might have to pay a fee. I think they have the same program, but you have to pay a fee. But I think if you're already doing tens of thousands of dollars per month, so you're a six figure seller on Amazon, they have a program where they will match you with factories. So they will verify that it's a factory versus a broker. I have a huge advantage because like my team's over in China. I have, I have sourcing people on my team. Like I have a whole product team and then uh, logistics team. So I, I am very lucky there. Now for toys, I've actually partnered with a broker that I've been using since 2019, 2018, since I've been uh, with my toy brand, 2018. And so this partner of mine has a huge brokerage. I have two dedicated employees of his that just work with my account, right? And so him being on the ground in Chanteau, which is the toy capital of the world, they have 10,000 toy factories in this one city in China. The fact that he's based there, my team's like in Guangzhou, which is, you know, four hour train ride away. He's able to go do the factory inspections. He's so built into the community. I think he's like running for city council equivalency or something like that. He knows who the real deal is, who the brokers are, who's copying, who's the real, like the original mold maker versus the copy mold makers. Uh, he'll send his people to, to go do the inspection. So I don't need to worry about bribes happening. All of that is worth me paying the few points I give him per order because I've done the math for every million dollars that I'm doing and ordering every year. I'm basically paying a $30,000 salary to an employee, which is well worth it for all the work I get, right? So for me, paying a broker, as long as it's transparent, it's a fee, and I'm getting all these extra things uh, is, a, is a good way to go as well. But do that in addition to trying to find the right source or the factory. And I think your your tool, the what, what do you call it? Uh, uh, the, it's called the supplier database. Supplier database, right? You can find the supplier of the best sellers and then just start from there as a starting point. Order your competitor's products. People don't talk about that enough, I think. Like if you've decided for sure you're going to do a product, make sure you order your competitor's product. Don't do anything scummy and return them or anything. But you want to feel, touch, and know what your supplier is dealing with. You want to see their packaging, their insert cards, their post-purchase funnels. You want to see like what they, what you're up against and get ideas because maybe you can make that packaging more efficient, right? Maybe you can, maybe you, you weren't going, when your sample arrives, maybe your quality was worse. Maybe you weren't going to package as efficiently as your competitor figured out, right? Order the competitor's fact, like products and then start with the supplier database and, and check out their factories. Yeah, for those of you who aren't familiar with the supplier database, uh, as Brandon mentioned, it's really cool because essentially we get from the US government um, these like customs documents that talk about what factory is shipping it, who's ordering it and what's inside of it. And we put it all into a database. So it's really cool because you can uh, search by like a brand name or a type of product or even an ASIN a lot of the times. And we can show you like where that shipment was sent from in China, which is typically the factory that makes it. So we found this is makes it like a thousand times easier to find the right factories and you know for sure that you're like not dealing with a broker or yeah, you just know who makes it. Yeah, who actually is making it. Because you'll get lied to a lot. If you guys aren't aware of this, like if you go to Canton Fair even, like they'll have booths set up. And unless it says Trading Co., like Trading Co. is definitely a bro like a, a, a broker, right? It's a trading company. But sometimes they'll just have really long random names. They'll almost all claim to be like actual factories. I've gone to a factory tour where someone told me it was their factory, wasted my time, and the name was different than their name on their card, like on the wall, right? And like, and like, it's kind of like a staged tour. And I'm like, stop messing with me, man. Like, I know it's not your factory. <laughs> you're not the, like, you're, you're, just tell me the truth, right? So you got to be careful. The database is so good. Now, this was just a very small piece taken from the full webinar, but you can watch it all, plus get 10 more hours of exclusive content by visiting the link below.
This year, Jungle Scout hosted our first ever Amazon Seller Week, where we teamed up with industry leading experts to help sellers like you elevate and evolve your business. We covered 10 different learning sessions on topics like advanced advertising strategies, growth funding options, supply chain tips, and much more. And you can access all of it for free with the link below.